And we're back. All right, let's carry on the rest of the way. We're not far. You're mad, woman. Mad, I say. Where are you going? Me, me. But I've got good reason. Huh? Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. That's the problem. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us. Uh, what's, what's going on? Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Well, I mean, no one's used it, so how, how'd you get it? Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch the no alien magic taste hold here. Secondly, after the catacombs have occurred, Kroch turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! Huh. What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Oh, all right. Well, guess that's settled then. Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Nuke its power! Oh, so you were serious about that whole destroying the islands thing. Oh, I thought it was superstition. My bad. Oh no, it's me. Oh, I should be able to talk to Yen. Hey, Yen, so, like... Oh, it's a Foglet. Hey, Foglet, what's up? Great. Got it. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the Foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Uh, so what, what do we do now? <laughs> what now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Uh, alright. I guess that's fine. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Oh, okay. Hold R B. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Oh, What's that? Portal? 
Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. See if they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. I thought I had to follow them. That's uh Come on, Yen. Keep keep up, please. Oh hey. That's not the right sword. Hold on. Don the mask. Okay. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Okay, I think they went this way. Come this on. This is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of you. Thanks, Yen. Appreciate it. No, no loot. Whatever. Alright. Well, ready? Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Great. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Okay. Okay, so what group of Ciri was, Ciri was with? Was it that elf that we did the cave thing for? Don the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. Most likely. All right. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Yeah, but where'd the mage go? The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. That's fair. I would say so as well. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Hey. Look at what you brought down on us. Speak of the devil. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Bumped the mic by accident, sorry. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of the portal. The mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her. Then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Well, I mean... Mostly, but... Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. One more thing. Flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Thank you.
Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. Oh. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. That's the wild hunt. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Uh, we can go together. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good, Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Yeah, sure. Dickhead. Quite a few years since I was last on this film. But if I remember correctly, Lockton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Touche. Touche, yeah. Did I level up? No. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Uh, yeah, no, let's not piss off. Dear sisters. Pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Uh, what's... Who's Craven now? This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. Ah. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvog. Uh, what is Morkvog? Morkvog. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm, know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Borkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, 
So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Ah, that's... Curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Sounds about right, man. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Oh, let's hope he's not out to sea then. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, that's good. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Uh, sure. Yes? Gwent? No? Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see what. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. Hey, Geralt, come back. Sorry, is it? Right, I'll do it later. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? I can't step over roots. A terrible affliction. It's my one true weakness. Again, please. Please, dear. Alright, so. My, my. That must be it. One morsel. <laughs> One piece. A crumb. Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. He's <coughs> having a bad time in there. Till he gets a closer look at me. Yeah. So, where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. We we assume Craven did. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. And yet you. That's Which fair. is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a. Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. 
If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Perfect. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Ah, that's the only reason as well. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. <laughs> All right. Yen's a, Yen's a bit of a bitch, but, you know. Raven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Did I lose the trail already? Sorry, pup. No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dull. No, it's not Craven. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so he did jump down there. Just I went the wrong way. something well, okay, that's the way out these are Craven's blood come on come closer <laughs> Is this Chris's blood? No, it's Craven's blood. Meh. Okay. So we got some blood. Good. I mean, not good, because we're trying to find this guy, but good because now we know. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Or I could just blast it out. Markvark doesn't give up easily. Okay. So we've got to go around, huh? All right. Yep. No. Okay, so I can just go. Hey, skulls. Oh, those, the, 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 those are. Uh, they're on the. They're my nut skulls. They're jugs. So many locked doors. Oh my god, all the locked doors in the world. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go this way down over here then. So we gotta go around, we gotta go this way. that I have to open. Okay, there are sluice gates I have to open. Okay. Can I jump over? Aha! Okay. What is over here? Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. 
Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Yeah, <laughs> work it. Okay. Alright, so we got... That one. And this one. Okay. Easy enough. Let's go this way. Yen would hate it down here. Don't see any blood. But there is a house. Got some little things in the way. Symbol of Freya. Hmm. Okay. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Okay. It's black. It always grows back. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Sure. Why not? Oh, that's one of the okay. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain. And howling, I vomited blood. I'd imagine so. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. All right. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> The moral is you cannot kill me, you cannot stop me, I'll not be bound, I'll break any fetters, curse, free me, or I'll return to get you again. Bouquet. But you gonna fight or are you just gonna piss off? Willing to talk now? Only now can I. The slash is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. 
Undo, undo the curse. Free me. Finally, I will, I will reward you. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what's, uh, what's, what, what's with Craven? Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. Well, I mean, obviously. Those who come <clears throat> rarely introduce themselves. <clears throat> what <clears throat> did he look like? <clears throat> uh, no idea. Then I cannot uh, help you. Uh, I've shredded our uh, uh, belly. Uh, uh. Uh. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I fight my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat like boiling tar. That's everlasting hunger, classic as curses go. That sucks, Goes dude. to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Well, I'll see what I can do, bud. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Mm. We shouldn't feed him because he's gonna be pissy, so well Farewell. See you soon. Alright. So, uh Alright. Well, we are going to pick up that's the wrong thing. There we go. Uh next time where we will continue this quest. I didn't think we'd be in the middle of this quest at the time, but hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, till then, right, okay? Out.